Hey, what is happening, all you crazy internet people, and welcome to a fun little cooking video. Um, today I'm going to show you how to make chipotle guacamole. Yes, chipotle guac. released the recipe for the guac a while ago and I've made it a few times and I haven't hit the nail on the head exactly but I'm going to show you how to make chipotle guac by the recipe I have it pulled up right here and I'm ready to go so what you'll need to ripe Haas avocados two teaspoons of lime juice two tablespoons of chopped cilantro a fourth cup red onion finely chopped half a jalapeno including the seeds also finely chopped and a fourth a teaspoon of kosher salt now i'm not going to have to worry about the finely chopped part at all because today i'm going to make chipotle guac in the nutra ninja blender i'm going to take all of these ingredients put them in the nutra ninja and basically few seconds go by, I have guac. It is fantastic. I did it last week. It was awesome. And I'm going to show you guys how awesome it is this week. So let's start off by cutting open our avocados. And what we're looking for here is we're going to scoop out what is in our avocado. I'm going to open this up, kind of like a clamshell. Okay, we've got some avocado. All right, so here I'm going to just squeeze the avocado. Believe it or not, that was probably the hardest part of the preparation process. All we need to do now is basically throw the other ingredients into the cup. Now, I've been worrying about chopping because that is something that the Nutri Ninja will do for you. Just need to, let's drop in our cilantro. I'll unwrap my onion here. Cut off a nice, healthy chunk into the blender. I'm going to unwrap this half jalapeno and just toss it straight in because it is already a half. No need to chop. Let's add a little bit of lime juice. I like to add a little bit extra lime juice and a little bit extra kosher salt. And on top of that, kosher salt. Now that I have my ingredients, I believe I've got everything, I'm just going to screw on the blend assembly. Start. The only thing left to do from here is basically scoop out your finished block into a bowl and serve. And here's the final product, simple to make, delicious and ready to serve to a hungry horde of people. I hope this has been helpful in showing you how easy it is to make chipotle guac right in the comfort of your own home where you don't have to wear pants. So with that said, thanks for watching and I hope you will tune in next time.